Windows smashed, items stolen, and no one saw a thing. Now we are learning the thieves may have been after a specific dangerous item. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez joins us live from Overland Park where the string of robberies happened. Andres. Michael, though the parking lot here at the new theater restaurant is well lit, they do not have any surveillance cameras. That is one less tool who are working to solve these cases, but police do tell us that there are simple steps that they can take to prevent this from happening again. When Robert Hooten left Sunday night's performance at the new theater restaurant, he knew from the get-go something was off. We did see two or three different police officers with big lights, and then as we're walking by, I stepped and slid, and when I slid, it was on the glass of the car next to me that was laying on the ground, and then I came around and noticed my truck had been broken into also. Thieves targeted Hooten and 17 other theater goers, mainly the owners of trucks and SUVs. So the only way they could have gotten in was crawl over that glass, and there were shards of glass right along here. Once inside, Overland Park police say the crooks were after one thing. They had gotten into the console, and then they'd also gone into the uh, glove box. Uh, this camera was sitting here, and they just didn't steal the camera, so I'm sure what they were looking for was firearms. In at least two cases, the thieves stole handguns. Nine times out of ten, they do not try to pawn it. They'll probably try to sell it on the uh, black market, and when you do that and have that gun out there, you never know what they're going to use it for. Now, around the same time Sunday, officers were called to the Red Lobster at 95th and Metcalf, where they found three other cars with their windows shattered. There are ways to deter this type of crime. Earlier this year, more than a dozen cars were broken into at the Marriott on Metcalf near 435. But once the hotel installed a wrought iron fence, the theft stopped. Police tell 41 Action News thieves simply don't like it when there's only one way in and one way out. We just have to try to, you know, do the best we can at catching it. People have to keep their eyes open. They have to watch. And now we're told the management here does plan to meet tomorrow to go over ways to prevent thieves from targeting future patrons in the future. Reporting live in Overland Park, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.